Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to be heading to Liverpool to the Empire Theatre and I'm going to go and see Jersey Boys. Now I have seen Jersey Boys before, I think I've seen it once a few years ago and I can't really remember much about it so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going on my own again today, Lawrence didn't want to come to this one, um, he said he wasn't too impressed with it last time so he didn't feel like coming but I paid £13 for my ticket, I'm in the circle can't remember what seat I'm sat in uh, but yeah it should be a good day so I will probably get back to you now when I'm on my way. So I've just arrived at the tram station just literally missed one but next one's in 10 minutes not too long to wait there just 10 minutes so yeah I'm on my way now got about got about an hour and a half journey to get there get on the train get to the pool but yeah looking forward to the day. I've just arrived at the train station now, not as late as it was last time, I've got 20 minutes to my train so I'm just going to head over to my platform, which is platform 14. Then my food has just arrived, I got my burger and chips and my garlic bread. And I'm just waiting for my drink. So I've just arrived at the theatre, I haven't got an hour yet, so I might, I might go walk to the shops and head back later. now about 
about half one, just walking back up to the theatre. Just walking through, I can't remember what this is called, some park. Um, St John's Park, something like that. Just walking through here just to get to the theatre. And yeah, I'll get back to you now whilst I'm inside. So I'm just in the auditorium now, just taking masks because there's nobody near me. It's quite empty at the minute. Um, but yeah, this is my seat. I'm in um, row R, number 66, I'm on the end row. And yeah, the view's quite good from here. I'll just show you my view. There you go, so this is my view from my seat. So I paid £13 for this ticket and I'm at the matinee showing, which starts at half two. So yeah, I think this is quite a good view for the price so I just want to show you where my seats are if you're interested so this is the very back of the circle this is row S I'm row R just on the end here so it's sort of like a central view but yeah I think it's a good view from here so yeah I did pick up a program from the merch stand this was four pounds um, so yeah I'm gonna read through this now before it starts it's got about half an hour before it starts Hi, so it's now the intro. I'm actually really enjoying it, much more than I thought I would. Um, so yes, um, just the intro. Just going to probably sit here for a bit, go and go back in, and I'll get back to you now once it's finished.
just finished now. I'm just in the train station. My train isn't due for half an hour yet, so sometimes it gets here early. I'm just going to stand at the platform and wait. back home I actually got back around half seven um and yeah I thought I'd tell you what I thought of the show um first of all I'll show you the program that's the only bit of merch I actually picked up this was four pounds they did have mugs which I can't remember how much they were I think about 12 pounds I think I did film the price list so that should be in the video you should have seen that um they had magnets I think they had they had hip flasks and they had some t-shirts um but i already have the mug and i already have a magnet the magnet actually was different than the magic magnet that i've got but i don't really need more than one so i didn't bother picking up anything else um from, from the merch stand uh, but i really actually really enjoyed the show more than i thought it was going to, going to i have seen it before but i couldn't really remember much about it um but i really enjoyed it it was a little bit slow to start i thought but once it got into it, I really enjoyed the story and I really enjoyed the songs. Obviously, it's the story of Frankie Valley and the of Four Seasons. Um, so it's just their story and all their songs. And their songs are really good. It's got like, Oh What A Night, Sherry Baby. Uh, what are the other ones that are in it? Big Girls Don't Cry. Uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off You bye bye baby so yeah lots of really good songs in this musical so i paid 13 pounds for my ticket i went to a matinee showing so a 230 showing and i was sat in the circle on the second to back row it's not the very back row the next one down um i was on an aisle seat um in the center section and I thought my view was pretty good. However, there was a big screen that was high up on the stage. When anything was on that screen, I actually couldn't see it. However, most of the things that were on that screen is just them filming what they were doing on stage. And it just show on the screen in black and white. Um, so you didn't really miss much not seeing the screen. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really too bothered. I probably could have moved seats. I think a lot of people move seats because a lot of the more expensive seats um, were supposed to still have been available and my cheap seats, the two rows at the back, should have been full and there was no one sat on the two rows at the back but all the other rows, the more expensive seats that should have been clear were all full so I think a lot of people moved forward um, usually I do do that when, when with Lawrence but I honestly thought my view was fine that I didn't really need to move I was quite happy sat there so I just stayed in my own seat and yeah I just really enjoyed the show tonight so yeah if you're interested in going to see Jersey Boys I will link the um, web page below and it'll start list all the um, touring dates for you so yeah Jersey Boys is on at the Liverpool Empire till the 5th of February so you can still get tickets to see that um, so like I said, I'll link it down below for you. I definitely recommend it. I really enjoyed it, especially if you like all the Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons songs, because a lot of them are in there. Obviously, it's their story. Um, the cast, I thought, were really, really good. I thought the person that played Frankie Valley was really good. His singing was amazing. He was, he was very good. I'm not actually sure who it was, because there's two people that play him, and I couldn't work out, because I was quite far back, it's hard to make out the faces, so I'm not 100% sure which one, which of the two that play him was on tonight, but whoever he was out of the two, he was really, really good, I really enjoyed his performance, so I'll just give you a quick look at the programme. Okay, so this is the Jersey Boys programme, so... Got a bit of information there about the Liverpool Empire. 
And it's got some information here about Frankie Valley. It's the states of New Jersey. There's just some more information there about the musical and then we have the cast the cast list so Frankie Valley is played by Michael Pickering at some performances at other perform there is at some performances someone else does play him I think it was him that was playing him tonight he does look familiar I do I think it was him um and then and one of the lead characters is obviously Bob Gordio and he was played by Blair Gibson. Again, really good performance by Blair. Tommy DeVito, um, he was played by Dalton Wood. Again, he was really good. And yeah, I just thought the whole cast was really good actually. There we go, that's the cast list. And then you've got a list of all the musical numbers. As you can see, there's a lot a lot of their music in the in the musical um act two was my favorite act two probably had all my favorite songs in it so it um it had working my way back to you which i really love can't take my eyes off you bye bye baby and yeah just some good songs and then first act uh, it's got these ones Big Girls Don't Cry, Sherry, Oh What A Night, so yeah, really good songs in that, and then you've just got, let's just tell you who the understudies are, in fact, did I find the other person that plays Frankie Valley in some, so here we go, in some performances, Luke Suri will play Frankie Valley. And I'm not sure if it was him or the other one. I really, it's hard to tell when you're at the back. And there was no announcement saying who was playing the role that night. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure they're both really good. And it'll be really good no matter who plays him. But yeah, let's have a look who the understudy is for the role. There's a couple of understudies for the role. And there you go, that is the programme. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my little theatre vlog today. Um, I am hoping to go and see Blood Brothers at the Palace Theatre in Manchester at the end of the month. Um, so hopefully there'll be a new vlog coming soon. I haven't bought my tickets yet. I'm waiting to see what days Lawrence is off. Um, but if we end up not being able to go together, we'll probably go separately. Uh, so we'll, I probably will definitely be going, just not sure what day yet. Um, so if you'd be interested in that vlog, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified when that one goes up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon for another theatre vlog. Bye.